Hi guys, um, this is just a short video to show my recent blood results. Um, I don't think in the end you can really see the numbers, so I'm just going to tell you those. But I thought it would be nice to also see something on the screen. Um, I'm doing it with my webcam obviously and it's a shitty quality but I hope it works. Um, first of all I'm going to explain you how this cheat works. Um, on the top you see obviously the date. I just let printed out the last from 2010 until right now. Um, I had my blood check quite often the last years because in 2007 I've done an Accutane therapy and since then my bilirubin was always high. Actually I don't know if it's been high before because before that I never had my blood checked but since then we let it checked quite often and it was going up and down all the time. So that would be the first pink line you see. That's my bilirubin and everything above that is the whole liver profile, the GOT, GPT, GGT, ALP and the bilirubin. That actually my um, liver was always fine except this bilirubin. And um, so um, if you see on the 16th <laughs> um, July 2012, that was my last blood check, you see it was 1.38 and right now it was 1.60 I cannot even tell it on the screen 1.61 so you see it raised I don't know why maybe it has nothing to do with this diet so then to the next pink line that's all the levels you see in this are the kidney levels and the first is the urea, underneath is calcium, underneath natrium, then calcium, creatinine and uric acid, I think, acid, sorry, uric acid. Um, as you can see my kidney levels always been okay, but the last time in July 2012 my urea level was really high. It was second, uh, no not second, it was double the, the amount of before. It was, I don't know if you can see it, it was 54.4 and that's like twice what I had before. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why it was so high. It could have been because I've been doing a lot of sports I've been running 10 kilometers every day, seriously, and I've been on a low-carb, high-protein diet, low-fat as well, but I've been seriously eating a lot, a lot of meat, like turkey and stuff like that. So it could be both. I think if you're doing a lot of sports, your urea can also rise, I'm not sure. Or it's just been the meat, or it's just been the sports, I don't know. So, but you can tell now <laughs> my urea was 12.6. That is um, underneath the limit, but let me see on another paper. I think the limit is 13. I'm not sure. No, the limit is 15. But my doctor said if you're creatinine, that's a bit underneath is okay then a low urea level is also okay I don't know so and my creatinine was um, 0 0.68 mm, I won't mention stuff that's obviously in the range and that's okay so we go further to the cholesterol I mean cholesterol in English um, that's also always been high since my Accutane therapy, actually while doing the therapy it was up to 290 and afterwards it's always been about 220, 230, something like this. Um, you can tell um, at my last result it was 218 
which was still too high, 200 is the limit. Um, but you can see just by doing the 80 to 10 since end of November 2012 it went down to 165 so you can see a result um, the next would be HDL the good cholesterol stuff um, it went down from 86 to 45 and then the LDL it went down from 131 130 is the, li um, the limit by the way it went down to 123 and then we have the that's what's um, surprising I don't understand maybe someone can explain me the triglycerides glycerides triglycerides I don't know how to pronounce um, went from 65 to to 96 but I don't know why maybe someone can explain me um, I'm gonna put this paper a bit higher um, there is marked a lot um, it should say where you see HP4 that's the sugar profile that's just the sugar result and the long term HbA1c um, the last time I had my blood check in 2012 was um, about 10 o'clock and I didn't eat yet so I don't know the word well, I didn't eat, and it was minus 50, 45, sorry, and the long-term blood sugar result was 4.7, and this time, Friday, on the, on the last result, it was um, that I've been eating three bananas and 200 grams of raspberries as a, as a smoothie for breakfast. Um, and then before having the blood check I also ate two or three bananas I'm not sure so I had a lot of stuff inside me and you see my sugar level the recent one was 69 it was still too low that was still under the range for the limit for oh, I don't know the name that's what you should have without breakfast but it was still too low if you can understand what I mean and the long term level was 4.2 it was lower than than last year so I think any one of you understood at least 20% of what I've been saying um, end of story is that my bilirubin bean went higher my urea went low, actually underneath the limit. My cholesterol went from 218 to 165. And my LDL went from 131 to 123. And my blood sugar and long-term blood sugar went from 45 to 69 and from 4.7 to 4.2 I think that's it may I write the most important stuff underneath the video in the info box thingy but this is just what I wanted to share goodbye